welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins and my prayer can enter your throne. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for the rest that you provide. Thank you for your companionship. Thank you for always providing for our needs. Lord, we are so grateful to you. I ask you, Father God, for a special blessing on each and every person who is listening to this devotional today, whether they are listening on the day that it was uploaded and to be listened to, or they're listening to it several days from now. Father, I ask a special blessing because those who are listening are looking for you. Lord, it is no coincidence that you have brought them to this devotional. So I ask that you will touch their hearts in a very special way, that you will speak to them through this devotional, through the passages that are going to be read, through the verses, through the song, Lord. You are our bread. You are the one who fills our hunger. Lord, we thirst after you. We hunger after you. You fulfill our needs. We glorify you. I ask you, Father God, that you will be with those who are struggling in their spiritual walk, no matter where they find themselves in today. Lord, I thank you because you are with them, that your love for them never ceases. No matter what they have been taught, no matter what they believe about themselves, allow them to believe this, that your love is everlasting, your mercy is great, and there is nothing that they could do, no one that they could be, no place that they can go that is away from you. Lord, we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Christ, Bread of Life. It was written by Diana Rosa Diaz and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from John 6, 32 through 58. So says the word of God. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and you still do not believe. All those the Father gives will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. And this the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. They said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets. They will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so that one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. 
Just as we need food to live, we need Christ to give life to our soul. In all parts of the world, bread is essential and it is served in each home in different ways. Whether it is on toast, sandwiches, hot dogs, or Mexican tortillas, it is eaten every day. This is Christ. He is everywhere and nourishes our hearts, not only on some occasions, but every day. In this process of making bread, we find another similarity with Christ. The wheat grows in the field, is cut, fanned, and turned into flour that is kneaded and baked. And when it is ready, it is distributed for consumption. The word of God in Isaiah 53 declares that Jesus grew as a branch, was cut like wheat, ground and beaten like chaff, and passed through the fire of God's wrath. This process made him the bread of life. For the next step in the process to proclaim this gospel, the Lord is counting on us. We cannot force anyone to eat bread, but we can and must make sure that they have it. Lord, always give us this bread. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Christ is the bread of life. And no, we don't actually eat his flesh. We don't actually drink his blood. That is a symbolism of what we should be doing. But we do need to feed on the spiritual bread that Christ gives us through his word, through fasting, through prayer. My brothers and sisters, we must partake in that bread of life. Christ is all we need. The word of God declares that Jesus grew and he was cut down like wheat. He was beaten and he was broken and he passed through the fire so that you and I can have eternal life, but we can't have eternal life without him. We can't have eternal life, but only through Jesus Christ, who is our bread of life. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue our journey through the New Testament. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.